So let's see how to use this halftone effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So also download this template, you should get the zip file. Now just unzip it and you will get this folder over here. Now just open up that and you will find these folders inside it. But if you open up this Mogot folder, you will find this uh, Mogot file over here. There is four different resolution. So this one is for Full HD and this one vertical 1080 into 1920, this one 1080 into 1350 and this one is for square resolution. So I will show you how to install them and how to use them. But before that, if you want to use the same font that I have used, then I will recommend you to copy and paste this font into your browser, download and install it. Okay, now let's see how to install these Moogle files. For that, open up Premiere Pro and then just go to Windows and make sure this essential graph is checked. And over here, you are in this browse tab. Now select all of these Moogle files and drag and drop in the section. And as you can see, they have been installed over here. So in the timeline, I have created a sequence over here, which the resolution is full HD. So I'm going to use this full HD resolution over here. I'm going to drag and drop. So if you are using vertical format sequence, then you have to drag and drop the vertical. So you get the idea. Okay, now over here, as you can see, the halftone layer is added. Now what you have to do, you have to import your media and select the halftone layer. In this edit section, you will find this media section over here. Now just drag and drop this media into this add media section and it will be added. Now as you can see, it has been added over here. In this section, you can change the position and scale. In the text, you can change the text. If you don't need the text over here, you can turn off. And over here in the color section, we'll find the other settings. So the by default, the frame is also enabled, but if you don't like it, you can open up that and turn off the frame. Now you only have this half tone effect over here. I'm gonna turn on that. And over here, you see this half tone uh, controllers. Over here, you can change the rotation of the half tone. You can play around with the grid spacing and over here, some ball size to get some unique look over here. And if you want to showcase the original color, you can enable this media original color. Or you can change the custom color over here with this three color controller. And then you will find this texture and noise scratch. Over here, you can control the uh, media paper texture as well as this paper, frame paper texture over here. And if you don't like the dust, you can turn off that. You can change the color. Also, you can open up this poster and posterize time. And this will give a stop motion effect to your video. So if you don't want any stop motion effect, turn off that. Or you can turn on and control the settings. In the frame, you can turn off and on. You can change the position. You can change the scale individually. You can control the roundness. And also you can add your roughness. And you can change the color. So that's basically it how you can edit this template.